Research is fundamental to understanding human behavior and development. There are many different types of research, such as descriptive research, correlation research, and experimental research. Experimental research is when researchers conduct an experiment using regulated procedures to study causality. There are four basic elements in experimental research design. Independent variables, dependent variables, experimental groups, and control groups. An independent variable is the factor in an experiment that is manipulated or influenced during an experiment. There can be more than one independent value in an experiment. A dependent, value, a dependent variable is the factor that changes in an experiment due to changes in the independent variable. An experimental group is a group whose experience is manipulated. A control group is a group which is the opposite of the experimental group. This group is treated the same except the group is not manipulated. It is important that random assignment is used for selecting the particular participants for each group. Random assignment is when participants are randomly selected for each group by chance. An example of experimental research design would be if a researcher was conducting a study to determine the effects of caffeine on sleep habits. All of the people involved in the study would be tested in advance by a doctor to ensure they are all healthy. The research would the researcher would then use random assignment to ensure each person was randomly selected for each group by placing each person's name in a hat and selecting every other name for the control group and the others for the experimental group. Those in the experimental group would drink the same caffeinated beverages each day, while those in the control group would not have caffeine. All participants would have their breathing and sleeping patterns monitored in order to observe the effects of caffeine on sleep. In this experiment, the caffeine was the independent variable and the sleep and breathing patterns would be the dependent variable. There are advantages and disadvantages that the researchers deal with when conducting experimental research. The main advantages are that a researcher can draw cause and effect conclusions, control the variable, control the lab environment, repeat experiments, and create tables and charts using the collected statistical data to show the results. The main disadvantages that a researcher has to deal with are human error, the creation of artificial situations, unreliable samples, expensive costs, personal bias, and being limited by ethical concerns. When conducting a lifespan and development studies, researchers often face the challenges of how to control their variables without making the research environment so artificial that the results would not hold true in the real world environment. On the flip side, the researcher can face ethical concerns when they attempt to make the environment less artificial. The only reference used was a topical approach to lifespan development by John W. Santak, published by McGraw-Hill 2012 in Boston, it was print.